Welcome to my channel, and this is What's in My Baseball Bag, 2022 edition. How are y'all doing? Just to introduce myself, my name is Anderson. And, well, I just started this channel just to share my love of the game and just show some fun side of baseball. But today, we're going to just be going over some of the gear I have in my bag right now, and hopefully some things that I'll be adding on. Now, a little background info is, well, I'm a catcher, so there's going to be a little bit more gear than normally expected. But we're hopefully we'll find some stuff that we can go over and maybe hopefully I'll be able to give you guys some good reviews that you guys can take when you're maybe, you know, going to find, you know, your next bat or some good catcher gear that you can rely on. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video and let's get into it. First, the first thing that we're going to go over is, I mean, where are you going to hold all your stuff? So what I have here is I just have a Rawlings wheeled catcher bag. Um, this thing's pretty large, as you can tell, but it can fit all my things. So, you know, I just bring it around. It's good for plane rides when we're going, you know, tournaments far off. And, I mean, it can really hold a lot. It has a big fat pouch. You can fit all your, um, all, like, at least, like, six or seven, no, like, five or six bats, really. And there's these side pockets I actually have a lot of storage. I know this one has, like, mesh pockets built into the side. I don't know if you guys can see here. But you can store, you know, little things without having to worry about losing them. So, this is the bag I use. And, I mean, obviously, I need a bag to store your things. And that's the first item. Alright, so the next thing we're going to go over is the bats. Because, I mean, how can you play without a bat? But, i got a few. These are a few of my favorites. You know, obviously, I've got a lot more just lying around. But these are the ones that I actually carry with me. First bat is this Mizuno Bamboo Elite MZE62. This is a 32 drop three. Um, I tend to use this just, I mean, just for fun, because it's a woody, but this is really durable. It's kind of like a bomb bat in the sense that it's, these don't break. It's a bamboo bat and it's kind of reinforced with like a layer of some clear coating on the outside. But this is a really sturdy bat. Uh, I recommend it, it's lasting me a while. The second bat we have here is this custom Homewood bat. Um, I actually got this playing for my last travel team. We had a tournament in an out of state in a woody tournament, so we decided to get custom bats. Here's a close up. See, it has the logo of the team. See, that has the logo of the team, and my name, and my number. So, yeah, this is, this is a good bat. This is a 31 drop five, actually. This was a little while ago, so I just kind of swing this as a lighter bat when I'm hitting off the tee or just when I'm in need of something a little bit more simple. But this is a really solid bat. I also remember this, but it, I recommend it. It has this um, circle, which certifies that it's an MLB quality. But I mean, it's a great bat. Uh, you can't really go wrong. You guys can't tell, uh, I have a lot of woodies, but this is the JB19 youth model, AKA the Jose Bautista model. Um, this is a 31 drop five or something. I can't really remember. It doesn't really stay on here, but it feels like a drop five. But this bat is great. Like it has so much pop. The only thing I'd really worry about is like, it's a little bit skinnier than most, but it has tons of pop. Like you just poke one, it's probably on the warning track. Like it's probably like 315 or something. But yeah, it's a great bat. It's not too expensive. It's around like 74 or 80 bucks. I can't really remember. But it's a solid bat overall. Okay, so this last bat is actually my is is my gamer. This is my gamer. So this is my Marucci Cat 8. I got this not too long ago. It's pretty solid. It's my BB Core gamer for our high school games. But this bat is okay. I mean, it was just on sale, so I decided to get it without having to spend too much money if I were to outgrow it or anything. But this bat is pretty solid. It's a little bit um end loaded though, seeing like like a lot of these uh, metal bats nowadays are pretty end loaded. So this bat is like, is really end loaded. So it's kind of hard to really get your swing around. But overall, I'd say, you know, it's a pretty solid bat. Like I said, pretty hard to go wrong. But if you're just looking for a cheaper bat that you can just really, you know, put to the rigor and just, I mean, hit nukes, this is a pretty good bat. So now we're going to be moving on to gloves. I, I don't have too many gloves, but I just have, you know, what I need. Obviously, I have like a bunch of old gloves, but I don't really carry them. 
but the first glove we're gonna go with is my favorite. And this is I take so much. I take really good care of this thing. This is my A2000. Um, I mean, it's obviously formed like an infielder. I go two in the pinky, um, flared. I flare both fingers out, but I keep it. You know, it's a solid pocket, but it's just kind of round, so I'm able to rebound, have quick transfers. When I'm at, you know, short the third and second, when I'm just playing infield, really. But this is, I always keep softball on here so it doesn't get pancake. But this is, I mean, A2000, everyone knows they're great. But this one has just lasted me a while and it's great. So the second glove we have is my catcher's glove. This is my heart of the hide. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the same glove Buster Posey had, if I'm not mistaken. But. I also keep a soft on here, have a nice pocket, but here's a close up. See, it has kind of, it just, I don't know. It's just, I always try to keep a nice pocket, the best pocket as I can, keep a nice box shape. You know, when I'm receiving, I'm able to work through the zone with this and I'm just able to stay flat. So this glove has lasted me a while. It's great quality. What can I say? I mean, Rawlings, they make some of the best catcher's gloves. Honestly, I would say Rawlings catcher's gloves are better than Wilson catcher's gloves, in my opinion. But this is a really solid glove, and I definitely recommend it. So my next glove is actually an outfield glove, but I, I don't play outfield, but it's just something my dad gave to me. And it's a, some sort of Mizuno glove. I believe it's 12.75, yeah. But... Here it is. Yes. If I ever, if I ever do play outfield, glove I have. Here's a close up. As you can see, a little bit rough, but it gets the job done. The last glove I have is a Wilson A450. I know this is obviously never used in game. This is like a ten. Is this a ten? Yeah, this is a ten inch glove. But I just use this for training, like sometimes when I'm warming up, just to work my transfers. You know, um, or I just throw against the wall by myself and I'll just work on feeling, you know, obviously a training glove can definitely help with your hands, but this is just something small, compact, so it doesn't really take up too much space in my back, but I'm just able to bring it along and, you know, if I ever need a quick warm up, it's here for me. All right, so up next is going to be catcher's gear. So me personally, uh, I actually like the hockey style mask. It just, I don't know, it just feels more safe and not slip off too far but you know it can be taken off easy so my favorite you know hockey style mask there's obviously all-star but right now i'm actually for my gamer i'm actually rocking the under armor so obviously i got the stickers or whatever that's also a little bit of a bias of why i like this because you know, i want to get rid of it but uh yeah i mean it's a solid mask you know i'll just put it on for you guys right here but it's a solid mask it's uh I mean, good protection, stays on well. But that's all I can really say about it. All Star is probably better, but it's not a bad mask. So next up, I I have the Under Armour chest. So I mean, it just came with it. So I decided to rock with this. But I actually prefer the Under Armour chest. It's a little bit more slim, and I like the way it kind of fits. And I mean, obviously it has good protection, but I also like the design of it too. I kind of like the chest emblem here. And I'm hoping to one day get this embroidered. But yeah, I mean, it's a great chest protector. It matches with it, so that's why I rock with it. And last for the catchers, I actually ha I outgrew the other ones. So now I'm rocking with the Mizuno Samurais. These are all right. I mean, they're nothing special. I'm actually trying to get a pair of either the Under Armour Converge shins or the um, or the All-Star S7. S S so but these are all right. These aren't too bad. These get the job done. All right, so up next, we're gonna be having my batting gear. So the first thing is obviously the helmet. This is the Easton Alpha something, I don't remember, but you know, it's a basic white helmet. I, the, my helmet sticker fell off, so, our team helmet. So hopefully I'll be getting a new one soon. But I mean, sod helmet, it's not too expensive. I mean, it's pretty comfortable, and that's all I can say about it, it's pretty cheap. But up next, this is something that I actually really like, the Evo Shield Shin Guard. Cause this thing has same you know you're going you're facing a pitcher he throws a change up you, you're not ready for it so you foul it off in your shin but this thing has saved me so many times like i cannot i can't even count how many like bruises and like welts i would have had on my shin without this but 
This thing is definitely a lightsaber, lifesaver. I mean, plus 10 drip too, like drip over skill bro. But, I mean, creation guard, what can I say? So up next is my G-Form elbow guard, the G-Form 2.0. This thing is actually really comfortable. The thing is, I actually prefer these over the Evo Shield elbow guards because, I mean, obviously these offer more protection and these are kind of, I kind of like the full, kind of full elbow look, how it can just kind of go there. But I just like the look of it, and it honestly is just, I mean, it works well, taking a few pitches here, but haven't gotten any injuries from with it while wearing it, so that's a W. And then for the bat, for the batting gloves, we, ha we have here Bruce Bolts, right? See, Bruce Bolts, I know they might be a little pricey in the price, but these are definitely worth it. Like, that's all I can say. Like these Bruce Bolts are worth it. These are some these are the best batting gloves in the game. Like these have lasted me at least a year so far. Great condition. You obviously I condition them every once in a while. I know it looks like they're barely warm, but I just conditioned them. Yeah, just I've taken I've taken a ton of hacks with these. But these are comfortable, these are durable. Like these are really just the best batting gloves you can get. Because these are just offered like a lot of protection against blisters but not only that these are just all, not only comfortable but the quality is amazing and bruce bolt sponsor me but i mean if you guys are looking for a good pair of batting gloves to last you a while bruce bolts are the move but so last but not least we have some accessories you know some things that i mean just improve your drip look good feel good play good and just some random things i have that i found in my bag but first things first we're gonna go with my sliding mitt i mean i use this a lot i steal a lot of bags it's not Evo Shield, but who cares? It doesn't have as much drip, but I mean, it gets the job done. It's Excelletics, whatever it is, but it's not that bad. If you're looking for a little bit more budget one, it's pretty worth it. So another thing I keep is I just keep an extra pair of team socks. You know, this is, we have team socks for my uh, trial team. But I just keep this in there in case mine never gets a hole or something. I'm sliding, but it's pretty useful. Came clutch a few times. So another thing is, you know, my pink arm sleeve. Um, obviously it's November now, but it was October and I just forgot to take it out. So we're just gonna add it to the list. Now, another thing I keep is uh, extra belt. Cause you know, if one of my teammates forgets their belts or I forget my belt, I just have this. So the pants aren't falling down or they won't look stupid. But this is always useful to keep. I highly recommend keeping an extra belt if you can. On to the other thing, uh, something else is some black wrist tape, you know, matches some, matches some of my team colors. But, I mean, wrist tape is pretty useful. If you ever have injuries or whatever, you can wrap that up. But I just like putting on my wrist for the look and just kind of the feel. But last thing on our list is my Oakleys. These are the Oakley Radar EV Path or I don't remember the name, but it's something random. But I mean, these are nice. These have lasted me like two or three years so far, but I mean, I don't wear, obviously I don't wear glasses while I play, but I usually wear contacts, but you know, I'm at home recording, so I just want to be comfy. But yeah, I mean, Oakley's are the way to go, great quality, but that's all I can really say. So that'll be it for today's video. Um, thank you guys for watching the video, and obviously this is going to be my first video on this channel, but hopefully not the last. And I just want to show you guys, have a good start on the channel, and show you some of the things that I might carry. So if you guys want to go out and buy some of these things, you can always ask me in the comments down below like what i think or where you could get them and that's really it so thank you guys for watching the video maybe consider subscribing if you liked it you don't have to but just hope you guys have a good day and play some baseball